so here we are blog post number one um, just arrived uh, over at Penny Pass uh, Lamberis um, weather to start with hasn't doesn't look like it's what was exactly forecast surprise surprise so uh, don't think I'm gonna get the sunrise images that I wanted to I uh, really wanted to get the nice morning light coming off the side of Snowdon um, reflecting in Glaswin but we'll see what we get so here we are the journey begins uh, blog post number one let's do it okay here we are um, just heading up the miners track uh, on the way to Glaswin uh, as the light's starting to unfold uh, it really really isn't what the weather forecast predicted uh, it's supposed to have been quite a clear morning this morning but this is landscape photography you never know what you're going to get when you get out and onto the ground and actually see what's there you know and you you just have to adapt to uh, what's in front of you you know take do what you can hopefully we'll get some images you know there's some nice low line cloud still around so uh, yeah onwards and upwards so I'm now going to uh, push on let's head on up and uh, see what we can find Made it to Glasbyn, and uh, yeah, the weather certainly isn't what it was supposed to have been. So uh, yeah, we'll just have to see what transpires from here. Uh, there is some patches of blue sky coming through the clouds, so you know it, it might allow for some light to come through. Um, we might get something. I'm, I'm not holding any hopes up though. Um, anyway, this is Glasbyn. Let's go for a little walk down to the water's edge, as you do. So, yeah, a little bit choppy around here, as you can see. So, yeah, it's Glasgow behind me. And Snowden is up there in the clouds somewhere. Don't know where, but it's there. Trust me. Uh, good old little hut. Yeah, all the little nice. Um, Thing to add for a bit of foreground uh, in your composition. Um, I think it's time to get the kit set up uh, and let's uh, hope and pray and see if we get anything nice. Cool. Well, the weather certainly hasn't been the sunrise that I was expecting to say the least a um, little bit disappointing frustrating um, yeah it's just gone kind of flat really now the light has um, there's a little bit of light coming up over the hills um, but it's nothing there's no there's no composition to be had um, 
you know, there's, it's just not doing anything, and it's certainly not doing anything for me. Um, so I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to pack up from here and, uh, yeah, move on to somewhere else, I think. Uh, and uh, might go across the other side of Lambros Pass, um, taking, a, taking a nice panoramic from the roadside, uh, looking over towards Snowdon, really nice view. Uh, one you should always stop and just admire for five minutes as you're passing by. Uh, and then I think it's uh, down to Pete's Eats and Lamberus for breakfast. Sounds like a plan. Bye bye for now. Well, come across to another beautiful location here in Snowdonia, um, Ogwen Falls by Ogwen Valley. It's absolutely beautiful here. Um, what I've, I've been here a few times and what I want to do is just try and actually get to the bottom of this big waterfall, turn around and give a bit of a, an idea on it. You know, it's a really beautiful place. Um, Come around here a little bit more. You see all the falls going down there, down the bottom. It's absolutely beautiful here. Been here a few times, but I never got to the bottom or the base of the waterfall, which I think is where probably there might be a, a nice spectacular one to, to see down at the bottom. So that's what we're here to do today. Uh, all I've got to do now is figure out how the hell I'm going to get down there. So that's the command task for the moment. So uh, I'll see you down at the bottom. Well, I made it to the bottom. Uh, yeah, that was a scramble. Uh, even worse, I've got to climb my way back up now. So that's going to be fun in itself. But anyway, I got here. Uh, really, really nice cascades down here at the bottom. Unfortunately, I can't get round to where I need to be um, because it's uh, technically not public access land. So I'm not going to break the rules today. Today, although I might do at some point. So. All I'm going to do down here now is concentrate on this nice big long weir uh, that stretches all the way across um, the river. Uh, really beautiful, nice different levels of cascades. So uh, I think this is the, the shot to, to get down here. Um, let me just go and over to the camera and let's have a look at what settings we've uh, settled on and then uh, we'll get the shot. Okay, so for this shot, we're going to F18. Uh, I've got a circular polarizer on, uh, an ND filter, ND, soft ND grad, uh, just to take the, the harshness off the top of the, the water. 
and then a six off ND filter. Um, altogether, it's given me an exposure time of one and a half seconds, which is about right for me. Um, don't want to go overboard on something like this because it'll just overpower it. So uh, I hope you can hear what I'm saying, by the way. You know, it's quite noisy down here, um, but a beautiful little spot. It really is nice. So I'm going to get this shot uh, and then uh, it's, it's time to head off home. Um, all in all, a good day out. You know, didn't get all the shots I wanted. Um, so I suppose it kind of, you know, just have to come back again, have another go. Uh, that's part and parcel of landscape photography. Um, see you all next time. Uh, all links to all the gear that I've been using on today's videos uh, are all down in the descriptions. Um, by all means, help yourself, check it out, have a look. Um, by all means, like, share, um, spread the word, uh, and hopefully more people can enjoy the videos that are making. Bye-bye for now.